Donald Trump, if you can hear us, please, Donald Trump, please save me. Please save me, Donald Trump, please. I'm asking you. Please save me. Please save me. Please get these people away from me. In dear God's name, please stop these people. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem and Kakadash. Say double honors and apostle to the apostles and the bishop elders of Great Millstone for teaching his word and truth and sincerity for all and well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four quarters of the globe, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, I'm the brother Gabari Yahweh from GMS Hawaii. <laughs> hey, man. Trump is no god, man. He's nothing but a mere mortal. But you got people out here that really believe that this dude is some type of God, man. And they pray to this, 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 this like him praying to Trump is like a Christian praying to Jesus, man. Nothing's going to happen for you, man. Nobody's going to come up and save you, man. It's, it's, it's devil thought that uh, if he uh, <laughs> if he if he prayed to Trump, that the cops would get off his ass, man. Let's do that again. Donald Trump, if you can hear us, please, Donald Trump, please save me. Please save me, Donald Trump. Please. I'm asking you. Please save me. Please. Well, he's ask, he asking Donald Trump to save him like Donald Trump's a, some type of God, man. Real quick, this is the book of uh, Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth his man, and make it flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord, man. And that's what, that's what you do when you depart from the Lord, when you're not with the Lord, you put your trust in anything, including man. And the scripture says, curse be him that, that make it flesh his arm, which is his strength, man. And Esau couldn't save you if he wanted to. Save me, please get this. Esau can't even save himself, man. Well, what do you think you're going to, Trump just going to magically appear and, and, and rescue you from a traffic stop, nigga? They about to move on you, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't right. Now, I don't know if this dude's an Edomite. He looked a little Latino-ish. But nonetheless, he praying to he praying to a man that's still... First of all, he praying to a, a, a corrupt thing, an Edomite. You know what I'm saying? This dude praying to an Edomite to save you. Your Edomite God ain't going to save you, man. You know? This is the book of Isaiah 47 and 13. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsel. Let now thy... The astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prosecutors, prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon you. Because you see, like, just how this devil. People away from me. <laughs> In dear God's name, please stop this. This is this is this is what this is how Esau is praying to Satan right now, man. To keep to keep to keep the elect away from him, to keep Yahweh Bashiach Shai off his ass, man. You know, they're going to they're going to their different idols. They're getting these witch doctors. Look at what they was doing at the WEF, man. You know what I'm saying? To try to save their uh save and bless their enterprise, man. But hey, it's spiritual too, cause it's a Jake coming up behind them on the right side, man. You know what I'm saying? And but they bust the window out and his ass about to be fucking grass, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause Esau is no god, man. He is no God. This is the book of um, Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 29, verse 9. It might be 28 and 9. 28 and 9. What thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am, I am a God, but thou shalt be a man and no God in, a, in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Right. And Esau is not no God. You know what I'm saying? Esau is a man. Trump is a man. Nero, that's Nero in the reincarnation. That is a man. He can't save you. He can't save he can't save himself. He can't protect himself from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? This dude was praying to remove the cops from his ass. And they broke that window and he's out of here. 
They said somebody said, dude gonna get shot on live. Dude, dude get out. They're telling him to get out. You know what I'm saying? But this dude praying to a man, a man, something that's more corrupt than he is, man. Because Trump is a warlock. Trump is a, a high level war not warlock. When he got when he became president, he got inaugurated, which is a warlock ceremony. So for that time, he was the highest witch in America. Or one of the highest ones in America, man. So this dude's praying to him and to know as well. Yeah. He ain't gonna put no bail money on your shit. You out of here, man. But they just show you that. This shows you the mindset of people. It shows you mindset of Jace because you got actual people that actually praising these people like they're gods. Go to East India. Every time somebody get voted president in America, the East Indians go crazy and they they, they draw up a, a, a physical caricature of this person and they they start exalting it. They did it to Kamala Harris, and they do that shit in America. You got Jake's doing that shit. You really looking at this man like he's just savior. He can't save you, man. Esau can't even save his fucking self, man. You know? Yeah, this is funny, but at the same time, it ain't because it show you this is America, man. The, the land of idolatry. Witchcraft and wizardry, man. You know? And there's people that really believe in these characters that they come up with. They, they, they did it to Barack Obama. They do it to all these do witches and warlocks. But guess what? This is a great example of showing you that these idols can't save you, man. The living, these, these, these people that they call themselves living idols, these superstars, these celebrities, your your politicians, they ain't gonna save nobody. They can't even save their own funky ass. How they gonna save you? You know what I'm saying? That these dead idols, they're all dead idols, man. All these dead idols walking around here, man. All right, they're not gonna save you. The only one that can save us out of our condition that we're in is Yahweh Bashir and Yahweh Shai. And he's going to save the elect of Israel, man. But Esau, you don't got no God. Ain't no God saving you, man. Satan's not even going to help you out, man. It's definitely Shalom. I'm going to the next.